Welcome back, YouTube. Brett and Jeff here, back for another day of the unboxing of the space case. Uh, we have a little special bonus content today. I uh, got real thirsty one night and snuck into uh, number 10. So I've already unboxed <laughs> and enjoyed that beverage. It was delightful. So Brett's going to unbox day 10, and I'm going to unbox day 11. Uh, Brett, what are you feeling about day 10? Um, it's been a few days since we popped one open, but I think it'll be good. I'm expecting a stout or a porter here because we haven't had one yet. I've said that the whole case, though. So nope. we had a stout. We had the uh, German stout, the cake stout. Was that stout? Yeah. Oh. The um, Black Forest. Right. Stout. Sorry. I just woke up, everybody. That was delicious. Bad. Quick cool. shout out to number 10, uh, my favorite hockey player and soccer player, my daughter, London Speed. She's <laughs> number 10, love her. Um, and then my favorite hockey player of all time, Pavel Burry as well, is number 10. So, And I always wore number 10, so 10 is a good number. So, so Brett, Shall I'll we? open 10. What do I got? Nothing. Mmm, that's delicious. I hear the cold IPA. Show it to us. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm just going to put the case down. What makes an IPA cold other than... That's what I was wondering. Obviously. Kind of a cool Halloween can. Yeah, that looks like it's ready for um, Day of the Dead. Yeah. So a cooled IPA. If someone can write in the comments, what's a cold IPA? Because I've been seeing a lot of cold IPA in stores, actually. Yeah. Okay, interesting. We'll see how it goes. What do you got? All right. So number 11, who's who's the famous number 11? Um, the one and only Marco Royce. Marco Royce, yeah. What about in North American sports? Uh, Saku Koivu. That, that's what I was going to say, Saku Koivu, yeah. <laughs> Who else is number 11? <laughs> I'm having a real, uh, I can't think of any number 11. I feel like there's someone in the NHL right now that's rocking 11. That's a good player, but. Or like basketball, break. is there any basketball players that are number 11? Or football players? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. We could we're probably missing someone sick. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Look at that. Can you read it, Brett? Then the SB? Yeah. Unreal. Uh, so if you've followed our channel at all, you know that we, especially me, love ESBs and Smitty. Shout out Smitty. So this one is called ESB1. Cool little um artwork there their, their artwork is really cool yeah they're on point with them for sure um so it says flavors balanced soothing refined and proper I wonder what makes that proper <laughs> i got a bunch of comments on my um on the esb from the deacon and son yeah. post i posted it on reddit and a bunch of people said you're supposed to drink it warm but mm. i think i'm gonna drink this cold yeah i'm not into the warm beer unless it's a gas for even then yeah, let us know in the comments if you dig if you dig the warm. So let's let's go. ESB is the English special bitter. It's a lot like an amber ale or a red ale. Kind of got that dark. You have any good beers over the weekend? Um, I had the Moody Brown Ale. Yeah, that's yeah, a good one. It's a winner, man. What were you? I went to you were yeah, from Buddy Drape. Yeah, I went to Riot Brewing in Shamanis. How's that? that? Great spot. It was really cool. Really cool colors, lots of neat. Um, Are there beers? Beer. Good? I actually haven't had their beers before. Hmm. Yeah, I'd never really had it either. Yeah, they were good. I had this one. It was like a vanilla winter stout or winter oh, porter. Funny. It was so good. Get mm. that. It smells real words. good. Pine of that, yeah. How's your smell? Oh, that's good. Wow. That one's good, hey? It's yeah. such a crisp. Super crisp IPA. That might be the mm. best IPA in the pack. Cheers. I wish it was a bit cooler, but. Oh, man, that is really good. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, really good. It's like malty, caramelly, um, got quite a bit of head, a little bit of carbonation, but not a ton being like an English style of beer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, really good. Wow. It's, it's funny. They really turn, turned it on. They turned the Jets on for the last kind of four beers here, right? Eh? Would agree. Mm. 
Yeah, all in all, two really good options here on Day uh, Day Bure and Day Coyville. <laughs> to unbox number 12, Brett, famous number 12. Tom Brady, TB12, the GOAT. John Blank, Sonny Hockey Players rocking 12. Cam Neely, maybe? Was he 12? Cam 12? Maybe seven. Check, check that out. Yeah, Ooh, I can't think. Trevor oh, Lynn. No, Trevor Lynn was 16. Who's 16? I feel like Matt there's Sundin. someone sick that was 12. Sundin was 13, my number. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Man. Someone comment, number 12. We really suck. I feel like someone on the Red Wings, like Dan Cleary or something like that, were 12. Dan Cleary? <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, what do you I'm think sure for our last one. our last beer here? Pardon? What do you think we're gonna get for our last beer? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, what haven't we had? Oh, it's crazy. Big cardboard box. So yeah. we've had some IPAs. We've had some pails. We hadn't had anything Belgian yet. I don't know if Phillips even makes anything though, so that might be something they'd leave alone. Yeah. I have a real sneaky slash bad feeling. It came to me in my dreams last night that this is going to be a barley wine. I'm thinking we're going to have to drink our bike brother. A sour? Yeah, that's my guess. It's a sour. I'm going to break it over my knee and dump it out. <laughs> They're so trendy right now. We won't, we've only had one. We've had a couple pails. Had oh, two ideas. Yeah, I want something real good that I can have and watch Yellowstone. All right, let's get her done. Good call, Brett. Oh, I was oh. right but wrong because I was oh, leaning towards Belgium and then said that it wouldn't be because I didn't think they dabbled. But yeah, I'm stoked on this. This should be good. Did you see what percent alcohol it is? Uh, 10.5. Have L.5. <laughs> Guess I'm wow. going to be sleeping all night. So, flavor knows Regal. I even say that here and strong. So this is, is effervescent. This is pretty intense. This logo. I needed this last night. Put me right to sleep. Yeah, this is nuts. Um, so water, barley, dextrose, hops, and yeast. I really like Belgian beers. Like my favorite um, favorite Belgian beer is uh, the what's the one? Gladstone makes a really good one. The single, um, yeah, it's just a Belgian single, isn't it? I think so, but it's really good. I feel like this is going to be that just popped up on all the all the sauce. My favorite's the you didn't like it when we had an Amsterdam cornet. You remember that? Yeah, that, that was pretty intense. I think I'd like it now, though. You would shout out Butcher for introducing me to that. Yeah, um, we didn't funny. did we review our beers last night? Pardon. Did we score our beers last night? Um, I was half asleep. I don't even know what was going on last yeah. night. Yeah. So so last, think night, last night I had an ESB. Yeah. And it was so darn good. I would score it. Um, I would give it. Oh, my phone's dying. <laughs> Did you lose me? Yeah. I would score yeah, it probably, uh, let's say a KD, a Kevin Durant. It was that good. How about you? I that have a cold IPA. IPA. The I love that one. With my cold IPA, is I had a cold IPA warm. Yeah, that's, that hurts. I forgot to put my pack outside, so it didn't cool down. Unlike you, I don't have a giant fridge. Um, if I had to score it, um, I would give it a Nail Yakupov. Oh, you didn't like it, eh? Meaning I didn't enjoy it, but I bet if I put it in the fridge for a couple hours, it had it nice and cold, it could have blossomed like what he was supposed to be. Yeah, no score. I, I would have rated that's that score one, on like, my part, not on Phil's part. I'm pretty yeah. sure it was really good. I just didn't drink it properly. That cold IP, I, I would rate uh, Michael Pekka. Michael Pekka, yeah, just a captain, yeah. real solid Buffalo Sabres Pekka, too. Not Vancouver Canucks Pekka. I don't know what Pekka's doing now, probably coaching like junior B somewhere, coaching his Kim's team somewhere. Oh, it's giving money. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Smell that. That smells like booze. Oh, man. That smells 
very hard alcoholy. Got like a little rose smell to it, but then yeah, like it does, um, but that hits you with the alcohol, eh? Yeah, it smells like vodka. All right, cheers. Let's do I'd say go. you're close with your barley wine with that smell. Yeah. Nice though. Yeah, the mm. booze. Yeah. Nice though. Uh, that's um pretty intense. Yeah. That's got the packs a punch. Yeah. You can definitely taste the fermentation in it. Yeah. If I were to rate this, this is this is a Ron Hextel. Yeah, I was going uh let's see. Oof. Peak Canucks Todd Bertuzzi. Oh, come on. It's not that good, is it? It's good. Might beat the shit out of you and get suspended for the next few yeah. games. They punch you in the back of the head. You might not see someone after for, what was it, a season Ooh. and a half after? Yeah. Realistically, yeah, how many of these do you think you could drink? Um, one. One. Probably like yeah. four, four of these and you'd end up in the gorge. I wouldn't be able to keep it down. <laughs> one and I'm just like I can't do this anymore. Yeah. So not know like the big show. This is Dunzo. <laughs> that just scared the heck out of my dog. Uh, top head, three. So. Top three. I'm gonna start us off. Number one was the ESB. Yeah. For me. Uh, number two was the stout for me. Okay. And number three was probably that um, that citrus or that pale ale. Oh, the coffee colch, yeah, coffee colch. What about you? Um, number three was the brown ale. Oh wow! Okay, brown ale. Okay, tie. Number two was the colch. Yeah. Number one was um, the stout. <laughs> and you haven't had the ESB yet, have you? I haven't had the ESB yet, but I don't see it passing those others. Actually, in my freezer right now, I should probably pull it out. It's going to be a late edition. Yeah, you might need it to chase the uh, <sighs> the Belgian. I was going to have it after this, but I think I'm sick of the one tonight. What about bottom three? Um, Honestly, I'm trying to remember the ones that I didn't like, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to go grab the cans. I'll be right back. Honorable mention for the, the hazy pale ale at the beginning, too. That was damn good, too. Hazy pale was really good. Okay. Third worst, Italian Pilsner. Okay. Boring. Second worst, fruited lager. Hmm. Who needs it? The very worst, the worst beer I've had all year, the Keep Your Fork Lemon Meringue Sour. How about you? So I would put those, the first two you listed in my bottom three. I yeah. genuinely can't think of another one that I just didn't like. Yeah, like it might, this one's good, but it might be this, that just because it's not really drinkable. Yeah, I think I'd honestly put this in there for that exact reason that like it's good for a couple sips. It'd be fun in the flight, but I don't think I'd want like, it's going to be a tough one to down the whole glass here. I didn't do it, but all in all though space case was a great time really yeah. good beer really good artwork uh introduced me to some kind of new variations of beer and mm. yeah, I, I can't recommend it enough so it was all worth it for me just for that uh stout oh yeah that was that was fire. just wait also, till you the i had their or bits and pieces of their space case probably like four or three years ago it was bombers yeah wasn't impressed so, so, really so yeah set, they've set their game up since then big come up yeah i really like the idea too the 473 milliliters like yeah. gives you just enough like you mm -hmm. know the bombers you know you don't always want a bomber every night but no it's pretty easy to crush a can i'm curious awesome. how we feel about that with the uh, parallel 49 yeah I so that, like that's up be... next we're, we're we're gonna have a day off tomorrow and then december 1st we will get right at her and uh get after some funky beers from what I remember last year with the Parallel 49. Yeah, I think there's going to be some interesting ones in there. A lot of, a lot of unique brews. Awesome. Well, from yeah. Jeff and Brett, it's uh, been a great first series for us, um, our inaugural ride. Yeah, we're still going. Good to see you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Phillips. Yeah, if you can like, subscribe, comment, follow, all that good stuff. We will see you next week. 